we're going back to this is Maharis, Isla Maharis, and this time rather than last time we've got a package. Uh, it's sixty-four dollars for three of us to take the tour or the ferry over, and then we rented a golf cart which will be forty-three dollars American dollars, and the ferry comes I think every hour until seven o'clock. But this is I think the Playa Tortugas or Tortugas, the place where most of the ferries come. Um, where the average person just rented a ferry rather than a package. So we're going to go do some snorkeling at Playa del Norte and rent a golf cart and check some other stuff. $64 ferry. It looks like about half the size as the other ferry, which we paid a lot more for, but it was a part of the Dolphin Discovery. I don't know. All right, we're taking the ferry across to Isla Mujeres. We just got our COVID test results. Negative. Yeah, we can go home. We can go home. We made it to the terminal. I can't say it. Here's Lama Harris from the ferry. Gosh, it's beautiful here. So blue. We go. I'm gonna go rent a golf cart across the street behind Senior Frogs. We're at Gaffron de Castillos. It is five dollars a snorkel here, and this is considered the Gaffron. Maybe the reef is a little bit ways out there, but hey, it is. $55 cheaper than the other place and I'm all right with that so for five dollars each you get umbrellas chairs uh, use of the restroom um, that's pretty much all we need this is gorgeous oh there's three of them four oh look at the huge one over there what in the world that guy looks mean over there doesn't he Way over there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, Stay away, four, they bite. Five, six. We're at Graffron da Castillo. It's part of the Gaffron Reef, I believe, way out there. Where everybody's floating and partying. We are gonna go check out some coral and see if we can't see any tropical fish. This is amazing. We're gonna go snorkeling. Yep, what's up? We're going snorkeling. Beautiful blue water.
we're circling at the most beautiful place ever in the Gaffron Reef. Saw all sorts of crazy fish. Now we're just taking the golf cart around the island to the Isma Mojera side. So this is Playa Norte. They say it's the best beach around. We found this little tight little spot up here at the top of this building. It's pretty epic. We're gonna get a margarita and a Corona and some tacos. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful and they have this cool little hammock hangout spot next door. They have a bunch of hammocks and a band. It's amazing. Obviously, when you're, when you're in Mexico, you want to order some of their local cuisine, except for Addy. Calamari, huge calamari, zucchini. Oh my gosh. Some steak tacos and chicken tacos, chicken cheese quesadillas, guacamole and chips, and obviously the margaritas with the crony. Um, really good. Americans are terrible at making tacos. I'm not going to lie. The best tacos I've ever had were in Austin, Texas, but definitely the second best I've ever had here. Wow. Beautiful out here. This is a pretty amazing beach. It's Playa del Norte, but it's not on the little enclosed side. But it is amazing sand. We ate there. Don't even know the name of the place. It's completely amazing though. A lot more fun, a lot more party than Tulum's beaches. We're at Playa del Norte and the point where Andrea agrees. This looks like a pool. Hey. It's kind of enclosed. I thought, like a, I thought you said I look like a pool. Oh yeah, sometimes I do say that. <laughs> and it's enclosed on the other side from the big part of the ocean. But very beautiful here. Across from the Mia Isla Mujeres, MIA. Oh, it's so warm. Very cool spot. I'm gonna grab my snorkel and GoPro and see if I can't see any fish in here. It's not going to be anything like I saw before though. Going swimming in Playa del Norte. El Norte. El Norte, I don't know. But in the very end, we're able to see some fish. Yeah. Oh, you're good.
after we took the ferry back, we jumped on a city bus that the guy had subwoofers, lights, and a super loud stereo. It was pretty interesting. <laughs>